Well, welcome back. This is Crash Course number 41. I'm Sammy Chimonahihi from the Eagle One Development Team. And today we're going to do a quick seal on our viz. This isn't the best way to do viz because doing viz correctly is going to require quite a bit of time and it should be done at the end. Uh, when you have everything done, you know where it's going to be uh, and then you're going to be able to, to create uh, viz based on how you understand voxelization works. For right now though, that's going to be an advanced tutorial. If you want to play this map and you stick it into your compiler, you're going to notice a viz is going to take forever. And that's because we don't have anything sealed. Everything right now is open. So the engine's going to start to compile and start. And it's going to start to think that you can come all the way out here uh, where our skybox is. And our skybox right now, uh, we can actually do a couple of things. First of all, we've created our skybox and we use this prefab so that if we ever wanted to make changes to our skybox, we could go back in. This prefab does not actually need to be rendered right now. We can actually disable this prefab so that the engine doesn't use it. Now, what we did in the past, and I should have clarified this, was we pressed H to hide it. And uh, you can see now that I hid the prefab, I can't click on it because this is actually the skybox. But when I press U and I unhide it, it's there. And the engine is still going to build this. So the first thing we need to do for Viz is we need to get rid of all the objects outside of Viz that's not going to be rendered. And this is one of them. So first thing I want to do is create a selection set. Come on over here. All right, and uh, we're going to click on plus, and it's going to say uh, selection set. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and type in 3D skybox and make sure both are checked. It says remove from other sets. That means everything here is going to be uh, put into this selection set. And then it says hide set, and I'm going to click OK. okay. Now what it's going to do, it's going to put right here our selection set. Uh, this selection set right here is uh, going to be something that we can enable or disable. Okay, I can click on this. It'll pop it back up, or I can click on this, it'll disable it. But right now I've got the skybox that's being shown. Okay, if I if I really wanted to show the, the skybox, I can come here over in my outliner, I can click on skybox reference, okay, and this is going to select the entity. If you're not sure where it is, you can press Control shift e Okay, this is where our skybox reference is. If I really want to, I can also put this in a selection set. I can just type this reference for now. And here's what it's going to do. Notice it takes away the entire skybox. Okay, so 3D skybox here. This is our ability to edit it. This is the prefab. Okay, reference. Okay, this is the actual skybox itself. So if I enable or disable it, you can see I can actually select this because this is referencing the actual DMAP itself, the 3D skybox. So uh, I want to disable the prefab. Okay, I don't want this in here because right now I can edit this and this is going to be built into this. So disable that. Let's re-enable the reference. Okay, whatever is disabled here is not going to be rendered or compiled. The engine is going to act like it never existed. So selection sets are a great way for us to kind of keep track of these things. Uh, this is a very, very, very quick way to just get your skybox up. So I want to seal this off. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab these faces. I'm going to press Alt N. I'm going to separate them. Uh, the reason why is I'm going to try to grab the outline of this. So hold down Shift, double click. Um, now. The problem with this method is I have had some issues where you double click and it doesn't always come up. Okay, I'm going to hold down T. I'm going to pull up this material and I'm going to look to see the highest point in my map the player can see, which is right here, yeah, right above that dome. Yeah, and uh, with this selection, hold Alt, double click. I'm going to press uh, Shift T to apply the uh, texture. And then um, I notice if I press object mode, notice how it's still attached to this. So let's go back to face mode and let's press Alt N. Let's separate it. Okay, now the skybox is its own separate mesh, separate from this wall which we extracted from. All right, uh, now I can go ahead and, and I can use this as a frame, if you will, to build around the rest of it. Okay, uh, this skybox is going to be our way of being able to, to quickly uh, figure out exactly where the seals are in our level. We want to seal this off. Like I said, think of this like you're on a spaceship and the spaceship going to space if you have any seals or vacuum leaks you're gonna die uh, so how do we take care of this uh, well we're just gonna make sure that we have everything sealed off and good to go all right so I'm gonna like I said, I'm just going through I'm selecting these edges I'm pressing T I'm gonna pull up material and like I said if I want to line it up there we go and then uh, with this this side right here I can go ahead and delete that since that's on the opposite side we just go ahead and just quickly turn this into a skybox texture. And then on this side, let me just extrude this. And then we can go ahead. We can actually have these fused together. This one. Good. And here we go. All right. Now, if, uh, if I'm looking at these two, the, they're a little bit misaligned. No big deal. 
okay, I can now just simply grab this edge and just pull it into place and it should snap into the grid left to right there we go and uh, we do have a little bit of a, a leak here okay a little bit of a leak is something that we want to take care of so i'll just go ahead and extrude that down and that should take care of that all right uh for the uh <coughs> block light here this is not a viz contributor so if i look at my viz contributors right now okay, it's going to look like this uh, viz contributors let's go ahead and turn that off that's fine I actually i wanted to paint this anyway so i'm going to go ahead and paint this paint all of this as well okay, even though the player can't see that that's fine okay, like i said this is a very very quick fix just to make sure a level is sealed and that we have uh, the ability to speed up compile times and viz times okay so we're almost done sealing this off okay over here let's just uh extend out our level let's uh, pull it up And uh, we'll just make it the same height as a ceiling, as a, a skybox. Right now, I'm just going to pull this all the way over here. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just imagine for right now that this goes all the way through. Okay, just to make this simple. Okay, and actually, what I want to do is I want to make a new portion right here. We can extrude this down. That way we can have start to cover things up. And, uh, let's just go ahead and imagine on this back side it's nothing. And for right now we'll just go ahead and continue to try to seal off our Alright, we're almost done. I want to uh, use this house uh, as a frame of reference. And actually, let's just go ahead and delete this face. Let's add a little bit of uh, <clears throat> boxiness on this side. When we build viz, remember, we should actually be building in boxes as much as possible. But for right now, this is just a quick seal tutorial. And then let's just go ahead and just make sure this top is done. All right, so far so good for uh, these parts. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and extrude this down. And uh, I can go ahead and uh, try to fill out the rest of this as best as I can uh, with that skybox material. And uh, I might need to go uh, a little bit under. I need to go a little bit under <clears throat> just so it doesn't collide with this. That's fine. I do want to make sure eventually, though, that this is all sealed off. Sealed off. This block light right here. And let's go ahead and turn this into a viz contributor just for now. I could do solid block light. It's probably the right thing to do. Sealed it all off over here, sealed it all off down here. Just want to make sure though this gets sealed off as well. Final part <laughs> right over here to here. Let's go ahead and seal that off. Okay. So it's sealed off the back side so nothing is leaking. Sealed it off over here. Everything's looking so good. And now I just got to go ahead and I've got to seal off the roof because there's still a major leak on the outside there. Okay, now um, if I try to double click this, you'll notice that the ring doesn't match up. Okay, and so here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to create a seal by creating a new face. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this. Click over here, double click over here. Good, it's following along so far, so good. This. Okay, good. <laughs> I've grabbed all the edges. I'm going to hold down T. I'm going to pull it up another 16 units. Okay, this is going to create a nice new set of faces for me to grab. Okay, they're all at the same height. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to select these faces and I'm going to extract them. 
And I'm going to essentially turn them into an object that we are going to make continuous, which will allow us to edit uh, the ring a lot quicker and create this massive skybox end on, which uh, normally we wouldn't make. But in the skybox uh, for this one, like I said, this is a quick fix. We're going to be good to go. Okay, now if I try to select the ring of this, I'm still not going to be able to do that. Okay, The reason why is you'll notice where this ends, it's because it's not merged. So I'm going to be in merge mode. I'm going to select these two. I'm going to merge them. Okay, select the ring. See if I can find the next part. Okay, go ahead and merge it. Double click. And all I'm doing is I'm just trying to figure out where exactly these are not merged. And it looks like right here. Bingo. Let's merge that. And now when I double click the top, the entire ring is selected. Okay, here comes the little cheat, the quick seal. Press P. And now I've created the fattest end gone to date. How many edges? 103 edges. Okay, excellent. But we've sealed off our level. Okay, so what we've now created here a seal. That our level itself uh, doesn't have the ability uh, to have anything, uh, any rays going through. Over here we have our skybox. So we can do a better job if we wanted to. Uh, we've created uh, the ability for us to essentially set boundaries at the sky as well. Okay, and the player, we, we know they can come up here. Maybe this is the ceiling that we could lower the mountains if we really wanted to. So that way the player can't quite get up here. Uh, but this is so much better from Viz than the other. If I go ahead and I click this, this is Viz Contributors. Okay, and then you can go through and notice if you can find any holes in your level that's seeping through, then that's going to be something that you want to try to fix. Okay, although Source 2 does technically not have leaks like Source 1, it will increase your compile time and it will start to draw things randomly uh, that aren't there. So now I'm going through, everything is sealed. Uh, later on, we'll teach you about terrain displacements and how to optimize that for Viz. This right now, like I said, this is a quick fix. If you have an end gone for the skybox, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we, we've actually tested uh, if it matters whether or not you build this. It's uh, Just go ahead and make it an end gone for right now. Later on, the correct way to build Viz would be to actually try to create this in chunks and squares as much as you can. Uh, but for our intents and purposes, we just wanted to make sure that for those of you who are compiling, because I see a lot of you are starting to compile, this is how you would want to make sure that at the end, your sealed level uh, was as ready as possible for uh, being able to go through optimization. Now, there's a lot more we can do. Actually, there's a ton more. We have to actually go through later. We'll teach you how to take out the viz for these tile meshes. You don't want them. Uh, we'll teach you how to use uh, viz for terrain displacement. Okay, we actually want to get rid of this as well. Uh, but this is a, a kind of an intermediate way, if you will, of being able to get there quickly. And then when you're at the end, when everything's been built, you know what your is going to look like. Okay, we can ultimately finish with an advanced viz pass uh, to be able to make this as good as possible. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. These Viz tutorials go a little bit longer, these Skybox ones. I do apologize, but it is necessary for us to be able to get all this information down. Okay, we'll see you on our next Crash Course.